everyone, how's it going? Hopefully you've been enjoying my content on this channel. And also, let's talk about some Battlefield. I'm going to get into more details than I have before. Yes, I did some podcasts where I talked about it. And I will link them down below for you all to check out. Now, let's get started. So right off the bat, I'm pretty sure you all know if you've watched those podcasts I was just talking about that I'm really excited and looking forward to Battlefield and I like what I saw. But in this video, I'm going to get into more detail of exactly what did I like and what they talked about. Um, so yeah, let's get started. The first thing I want to say is I'm a big Battlefield fan. I've been playing Battlefield since 2008. Um, Bad Company 1 and 2. Uh, I love Battlefield 3 a lot. Uh, played Battlefield 4 both on the 360 and Xbox One. Didn't really touch um, Hardline that much. I, you know, I messed with it. Like I checked, I checked out the campaign, but that wasn't Battlefield for me. And then I really loved the arcade uh, that they had on on the 360. It was uh, Battlefield 1943, which is back compat now. But um, yeah, like I was saying, I'm a real Battlefield fan, and I. Um, as soon as I heard that they were gonna do World War II, I was like, "Uh oh, I just, I just played this, right? I didn't, didn't we just have a game like this?" But you know, part of me, I kind of forgot the fact that Battlefield does things differently. So even if COD just did World War II, it doesn't mean it's gonna be the same thing for Battlefield. Battlefield is way bigger, uh, and it is more realistic in some sense. Obviously, it's still a game, so people need to calm down with, um, it has to stay true to life! Oh my god, how dare they! Um, with whatever nonsense you're gonna point out. Um, it's still a game, obviously, but it is more realistic than other uh, war games, in my opinion, anyway. And it's more immersive as well. So, um, you know, to, to put all that stuff out, I, I wasn't sure at first until I saw, you know, the event itself when they were talking about it, when they were saying little details here and there. And I was like, okay, interesting. When I saw the trailer, I got super hyped. Uh, obviously, uh, <laughs> I talked about it on Twitter and everything. So if you follow me on Twitter, you saw me getting hyped. Um, but yes, the trailer itself, though, it, it didn't really do it justice. It was an awesome cinematic action-packed Michael Bay World War II type of movie. Obviously, it was World War II mixed with Mad Max thrown in there. Uh, so yeah, it was a little bit of craziness, but they did that to draw people in to the, the hype that is Battlefield. Obviously, some... Battlefield hardcore fans out there didn't like it too much because it didn't show all the great details that are gonna be in the game. Now, they did do interviews after the fact. Yeah, I know. I wish they would have said some of these things during the event. But they went into more detail of all the things that are gonna change and all the things they're gonna add. And what makes this game uh, more so than just a Battlefield 1 continuation. Uh, the game itself is going to play differently. And uh, that's why I liked those interviews more so than just the the initial reveal event, and um, and and more so than the trailer because the trailer was just awesome in my opinion. Overall, like the presentation, it was awesome. All right, so be, you know, besides me babbling on, let's talk about some of those things. So the first thing is I'm really happy that they're going to have a, com a campaign for you to play. If you don't want to play multiplayer, you have the option to go and play uh, some war stories. And they're going to talk about all different kinds of uh, real stories put into game about different types of characters, male and female. So I really like that. Um, obviously, they're going to have... Um, oh, okay. This is the thing that's actually really, really awesome. Uh, I'm going to point it out now because no battle pass no map packs separately to buy and no pay to win so i really like that as well like it really i'm really happy and it feels like but i don't know and that ea is learning from their mistakes or ea and dice is learning from you know past events that uh really put them in the shithole um so i i really like that they they will be or i think they're gonna have my uh, microtransaction boxes like for you to buy boxes separately and then you get cosmetic stuff or they might have just those cosmetic things separately for you to pick up uh those items for your character whenever you're customizing them and stuff like that um so yeah we'll, we'll see how that goes i hope they do that right 
Um, they they did say just cosmetic stuff only. Um, so that that's good. And uh, those customized characters that I'm that I was talking about, you you could you know mess with their outfits. Um, you could have male or female. You could have um, face paint. You could have a claw. Um, and, and you could use them in your co-op, four-player co-op, which is separate missions from the campaign. Uh, it's called Combine Arms, and I believe that might be the same thing as um, Battlefield 3, where you had side missions, but these might be longer, more immersed than just uh, side missions that you guys play together. So hopefully they do that right as well. We'll see. I, I like having these different types of options to pick from as opposed to just multiplayer or just multiplayer and one campaign. Um, I like having that co-op as well thrown in there. Um, I know that uh, the whole cosmetic stuff is being questioned right now. And I'm not talking about the, you know, which sex of the character you choose. But more so the fact that in World War II, you did have traditional uniforms when you were in the war. You didn't have all that crazy craziness of uh, customizing uh your character and having like all like a crazy looking jacket or face paint or like different color clothes or anything like that so that is a bit different and i hope that they do that right as well like a lot of this stuff is like stuff that i that i find interesting or that i'm looking forward to and i also hope that they do it right because i am looking forward to playing this game and i did like what i saw i just don't want it to be like too funky like looking um outfits um i know they look kind of like rugged like mad, mad max alternate universe world war ii style but I, I mean i'm hoping that it doesn't look craziness i mean i give shit to call of duty when i see people with like different color weapons in world war ii and like uh, different color like crazy funky looking colors and like uh, I don't know, like that. Some of that stuff does bother me because it throws me out of the game, and I'm like, wait, th is this World War Two? What are we doing here? Um, so we'll see how they do that. I hope it's not too crazy. I already heard some stuff about the tank or the vehicles that I don't like. When you do customize, you can have like weird stuff attached to the side of the tanks and everything, and I'm just kind of like, what? Why do I want to like a teddy bear, like? glued to the side of my tank i don't understand that or a horse head or something like that that's kind of weird but i hope it's done right and um i don't know i just want to see more of that stuff later on within the gameplay not just as a trailer or cinematic type of thing but one of the main things that i love about battlefield is the multiplayer i love playing conquest uh they're gonna also have domination and team day one uh, so I can't wait to play that stuff. And it's something I'm looking forward to. Um, as you do customize those characters that I told you about. Uh, and use them in your multiplayer or co-op. You're going to... I think that's your company. And then you can have multiple characters that you've customized. And then you could use whichever one you want when you play. So that's going to be interesting. They will be adding new modes to all that stuff as well. They're going to have grand operations. Um, I heard some people talking about airborne. Where you drop down with parachutes. And then... Uh, you play like that. That's a little bit different of a game mode. And then last stand, uh, where your your squad would be the last one standing in the battlefield of like a four day war or something like that. I don't know. Either way, it, it sounds all interesting. So I can't wait to see more of that stuff. Um, and here's some of the stuff that I really really like that I did see. Um, besides those things that are interesting, these are like for a fact something. Uh, that I liked and it was all the details that I saw in that trailer or that they talked about uh, with the destruction the fortification which is um, the building aspect that you could rebuild uh, some of those areas uh, the, the movement in the gameplay with the characters I like that as well uh, and then the squad the, the team based squad based stuff I like that new locations and by the way those locations have a lot more detail than they ever did before and then obviously the, the healing which probably you've heard about uh, you've been talking about that everywhere the healing or the, the, the way that you heal is going to be different throughout the game and I really like actually their change of that as opposed to obviously COD is changing the way they heal as well which is a bit odd but like anyway I'll get into that in a bit Overall, I know a lot of us can't help but compare COD and Battlefield, even though they do play differently, and I know some other people hate the comparison, but it is what it is because they're both first-person shooter, war-based games, and uh, like like I said, they're, they're played differently, so then that's when you get into down to the details. Um, but, but with this Battlefield, 
they're gonna get even more so tactical than ever before because I do play this game differently than other games because I go in there knowing I'm gonna survive for a while because I'm doing multiple things not just running and gunning and shooting bad guys I'm actually reviving people giving people ammo supporting them when they're getting their kills um, also capturing flags and everything like that getting vehicles from one point to another point giving people rides whatever the details you know what I'm trying to say uh, they play differently and a lot of that stuff is gonna get even more from what I'm hearing more even um, just more and more it's gonna be more important <laughs> I get tongue-tied with my words because of the, the squad team-based play and the squad points and the reinforcements that you're going to have with your squad, uh, the the healing and everything that I'm going to mention in a bit. But I, I do like the reinforcement stuff because you get supply drops as a team. Um, I believe only the leader of the squad is going to be able to use those points to call in the V1 rocket. Which, by the way, the impact for that is going to be awesome. You shoot it in a certain area and everybody is going to feel that impact. The closer you are, obviously, you're going to die and get hurt. I believe only bad guys will get hurt. Maybe good guys? I don't know. I, I don't know. But if you're further away, you will feel the, feel the impact and you will get thrown back. So that's nice because it's very detailed in that way. But, but also with the spawning, that's going to be different. The way you spawn into the game is different than the other games. Like I, like now I'm going to get into the healing part, which is really, really awesome. Um, you can heal anybody in your squad, but you don't have to be medic. So if we have engineer and support class and a sniper, and we have somebody else that is also doing support, we can still heal each other. It just takes a little bit longer. And when you do come back, you don't have 100% health. You have uh, somewhat health, and then you have to find a met pack to heal yourself the rest of the way. But I do ha like having that option that if somebody just changes uh, from a medic to a sniper for a little bit to snipe, we can still heal each other. We don't need the medic. Obviously, if you're the medic, though, you do it faster and better than everybody else. So that's really cool. Um, you could also pull people away because let's just say someone's out in the open. Uh, you could throw a smoke grenade, grab them and pull them aside to cover, then heal them that way. Uh, and if you, you ha also have the option that if you're getting shot at, you can stop the animation of you healing this person because you get very close and intimate when you're healing people. It's not as simple as it was before. Uh, you have a little animation when you're healing, but you can stop that animation if you're getting shot at just to take cover and then do it again. Um, so yeah, I like having those options and all that stuff is very squad based game or uh, play. Uh, same thing with the ammo. The ammo is also going to be very different. Um, uh, bad guys drop ammo, you could pick up those bad guy ammos um, or the ammo from the bad guys. You, you do a little animation of you picking it up and putting it in your gun and all that stuff. And um, I think it's very interesting that they're doing a lot of animations. Uh, the healing animation, the f what is it? The other one, um, when you're putting up stuff, uh, fortification, you have an animation for that as well. There's a lot of things that are being animated, so so you feel like you're actually doing them as opposed to, hey, I just walked over the guy's body and I just picked up his ammo magically. They're actually showing you pick up those things, and I like those details. And I know some people don't because that does slow down the game, or they feel like maybe you're gonna get shot while you're picking up something but you're not the only one doing those animations everyone is doing those animations in different ways um everybody um is going to go through the same healing uh like method and everything like that so they also go through what you go through so never feel like oh it's just me who has to heal this guy and it's going to take forever no because they're doing the same thing too you know um but yeah uh, the, the thing about the fortification that I wanted to point out, uh, besides how cool the animation and all that stuff might be, uh, I hope so, is that everybody's going to get one of those boxes, uh, the toolboxes for you to build things. Um, you can't just build anywhere you want. You you can only do that in certain areas. So if you captured a flag and in that area, it allows you to build, you could fortify that area because you captured your flag, you got to defend it now, right? So that's going to be very cool. You, you will be able to dig foxholes, so I thought that was really funny. I was like, yes! Um, what else? Um, what else? Oh yeah, and then if you're a support class, of course, you will be able to fortify even better than everyone else does. So that's gonna be cool. Um, what else? 
Okay, so another thing I thought was really interesting. I don't know how this is going to play out, to be honest. Um, spotting. Spotting enemies is going to be different. Um, it's not going to be like you can spot somebody and or you see tanks and enemies being highlighted and, you know, tagged. It's going to be a little bit harder than that. They're not going to have that. So it won't be so easy. You have to use your eyes. You have to scan the map and look around for enemies. You can't just be like, oh, there's a red dot over there. I'm going to go over there and shoot. Oh, there's a there's a tank over there because it just got, uh, you know, highlighted or whatever. I'm going to, you know, avoid that area. It's kind of like you have... You- you gotta use your own eye. It's kind of weird. I don't know. Like That could be a good thing or a bad thing for me. I mean, I already have bad eyesight. Um, so they're making it a little bit difficult for me to see people a little bit further away, maybe. I don't know. That's going to be uh, pretty interesting. And they're taking that out and they're like, no, you have to rely on what's actually in the map as opposed to an indicator, you know? Another thing they're going to change and mess with is the grenades. Um, as opposed to obviously you're not just gonna have grenades all the time you're gonna have to go out there and get them in your supply boxes or anything like that or from bodies I'm guessing Um, you could shoot them um, out of the air or you could throw them back I think that's gonna be really cool we did see a guy in the trailer actually pick up a grenade throw it in the air and his friend um, or the player that you're, you're seeing the view from shot it out of the air Uh, And it hit the plane on the way down. I think that plane was already going down, but it got hurt even more. Um, So I think it's cool that you could throw grenades back. That's something that we could do in COD already. I don't think we could shoot them out of the air. Like, I never tried. But anyway, they're saying that they're going to mess with the grenades in that aspect. Uh, Same thing with the weapons. The weapons are going to be a little bit different. uh, With the recoil and the bullet penetration. uh, Obviously, certain guns more than others. uh, They're going to have their unique um, stuff when it comes to that and then the attachments are also going to be unique to each weapon and everything like that um, the, the, I mentioned the movement earlier I like the details on the movement which uh, you could jump and roll out of the windows at any point you don't have to um, shoot the window up and then jump like in Battlefield 1 you could just jump out of the window whenever you feel like hit and roll and get out of there if you know there's a tank coming or something or you want to go hunt somebody down and then I like the fact that you can lay down differently now uh, not, not just you know laying down flat and look in front you could lay back and you could lay side to side and you could shoot while laying in those different ways um, so they're adding more realism to that section um, I mentioned that, and then oh, okay, and then the vehicles. You're gonna you can um, hook stuff up to the vehicles. Um, in the trailer, we did see a tank, um, and it was hooked with an AA gun in the back. So that was really cool. So they said you could do that with multiple vehicles, where you could hook up stuff in the back of it, uh, with, whether to carry something or um, supplies or uh, another anti air gun or anything like that so that's gonna be really cool to have those attachments to a tank that you're already going in there battling with and you have a a, a, a gun in the back shooting planes down so that's gonna be really cool uh, overall these are a lot of the things that I like um, yeah I can't wait to to try it on EA access on the 11th uh, that's gonna be the first time I try it play I'll probably stream it or share some uh, clips here and then and then I will be picking up the deluxe edition on the 16 uh, that's going to probably come with extra cosmetic outfit things and then it's going to be on uh, on the 16 so that's going to be early access as opposed to the standard edition with the female on the cover that's going to be on the 19th um, so anybody can grab that one um, overall I'm really interested in this game Obviously, I got happy because my expectations weren't that high going into it, knowing it was going to be another World War II game. But what I saw is stuff that I liked, and it made me go out of my way and like listen to interviews and um, listen to other people's opinion on the game and on the matter and, and the controversy behind it. Obviously, I didn't point out all the details here. Like, these are some of the stuff that stood out to me. And I always do that in my videos where I just point out or talk about the things that stood out to me. There's way more information out there if you want to go check that out. But I really appreciate you guys listening to me, my opinions on the matter. I can't wait to see more of this game. Uh, Check out the podcast that I... uh, I was in, I'm going to put the links down below, where you guys can hear me and and other people's opinion together on on this game and how it's going to be. 
I, I don't know if this game in particular is just automatically going to be a hit because of some of the controversy behind it, but I, either way, I'm looking forward to it and I like a lot of the changes. So hopefully uh, everybody enjoys it all the same. Um, I just want to say thank you all for watching and I'll see you in the next video. Let me know in the comment section what you think and are you going to pick it up and maybe if I informed you of something interesting. Alright, later everyone.